In this video clip we're going to tie the Goose Byatt Micro Caddis. It's a pattern that's evolved over time and becomes simpler and simpler without affecting the efficacy of the fly at all. Just going to put in a base of thread there around which we can wrap the parachute post as we've done so many times before. We use white poly yarn for the post. I don't use white for most of the mayflies anymore. I think that we get too many refusals on them. But this post is so small, it just helps to see the fly a bit better. That's not quite where I want it. I'm going to just shuffle it, the, the wing forward a fraction. There we go. So you can move it. To get it in the right position. We're going to just tie it down nice and tight at the base. The fibres of the post sort of flare out around the base of the hook. So it allows you to be able to tie it down fairly firmly. Now we're going to take the wraps of thread up the post in touching turns. Remember to support the post with your non-tying hand when you pull tight, otherwise it will unravel like that. Touching turns, pull tight, touching turns, pull tight. You can go quite a long way up this post. And touching turns back down again to the base. And there's the foundation of our post in place. Then we're going to tie in the hackle. Make sure the thread's in front of the post. Hold the hackle stalk diagonally against the hook and take one wrap diagonally around the back of the post like that. That's enough to hold the thing just in place. And then you transfer the rotation of the thread around the post, touching turns, and just pick up that hackle as you go. And bring it back down again. Simple as that. Now we're going to carry on wrapping the thread around the hook shank. You can see I'm picking up the tag end stalk of that hackle. So I haven't had to pick up the scissors, have to trim it, just trapped it into the body, nice and easy. There is no additional stuff to do with this body, there's no tails, there's no dubbing. So we're just going to form a double wrap of thread down the hook shank and back again to form a very sparse body to this caddis fly. Because they really are skinny little things, these caddises. Finish with the thread just in front of the wing post and we get ready to tie in the goose bite wings. These are goose bites. These ones are dark brown. Seems difficult to get purely black ones. I'm going to cut out two. I like the wider ones when I can get them. They're usually wider down the butt end of the feather. We're going to trim these later, so the size doesn't matter, but we're going to line up the points. This is how you position them on the hook, and there's a nice little trick to this. Take the bites and separate them by pushing one either side of the post. Pinch them so that they rotate inwards, and trap the few turns of thread, the bites in front of the wing post. Take, whilst you're still holding the wings, take the thread around the back of the post, pull tight, and you end up with the bites in the position that you want. Maybe a little bit of tugging. There we go. And we're going to trim those later. But that's the easiest way to tie them in. Now I'm just going to trim off the points of those bites where we tie them in front of the hook. Form a neat little head of thread and importantly again change the rotation of the thread to around the post and we're going to get ready to tie in the hackle. Having tipped the hook in the vise, take the hackle pliers, two 
two, three, four maximum reps and one rep of thread underneath the hackle. Trim off the excess. And then we're going to do our little super glue whip finish again. It's the only thing I use on these parachute flies. Moisten the thread. One, two wraps underneath the hackle and around the post. Support it with your thumbnail and just pull nice and firmly for a couple of seconds. Trim off the thread. Now we're going to put the fly upright in the vise. Trim off any fibers that are pointing down that we've got caught up in the wood finish. Trim off the post. Remember, it's only there as a sighter. It's not supposed to imitate anything on the actual fly. These ones are playing up a little tiny bit. They're a little bit thin. But match the match the bites in a nice tent shape. Trim them off an angle. And there is our goose bite caddis, micro caddis. This is a tremendously simple fly. Very sparse because the real ones are. You can improve the visibility by just squashing that post a little bit like that. Because it's not supposed to be imitating anything, it's just so you can see it on the water. This fly has accounted for literally thousands of fish when they're feeding on small caddis flies. And it works remarkably well even when they aren't. The Biot Micro Caddis, tights down to size 20, maybe 22 even, on occasion. I tie them in dark black and also a lighter tan color, but you can tie them any color ver version you like. Very effective, very simple, fantastic guide fly.